Okay, just tuning in, by the way. Well, you guys have been very, very busy. You recently represented South Africa in Amsterdam. Once in the studio, Ben and Juliet from Good Luck! It's exceptionally demanding industry this in the modern day music world when you have to handle everything. You have to handle the shows, the marketing, the making of the product. Writing is a very personal and difficult thing if you have been using the opposite side of your brain for too long. Going We're spending more time in this office than we are in the studio. Currently, so, yeah. And it's now come to the stage where we <laughs> We can't carry on anymore. We've got to we've got to produce and record and release a, a difficult second album. I came to the band and I said, uh, <laughs> "This might sound crazy, but uh, I want to go outside." Well, the place that we all want to be, which is out there. We've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out how to do that. One factor is weather and wind, and uh, the other factor is people. You know, after a lot of research, I think we found the perfect place, which is actually right on our doorstep. It's the neighboring country to South Africa. Um, so we're going to Namibia. And we're going to go make yeah. this album in the desert. Suddenly we're here. I'm really excited to see if if being in this space and being in this place is gonna change the, the creative block that I've been suffering from for the past few weeks. I want to record not only the band, but I also want to capture some other crazy ingredients from Namibia. You know, it's such a vast country, it's got such diversity and there's just all these little opportunities that I've, in my research, I've sort of discovered along the way. Yeah. Well, we figured out that these rocks generate tones and so we are just running around hitting a whole bunch of rocks trying to figure out probably like some sort of chromatic scale. writer's block thing, I'm still in there, I'm, I'm still in that place, it hasn't broken yet, but we're very early into the trip. But breaking into this environment, already I'm feeling a lot more uh, rejuvenated and I think seeing all this open space and um, just being at peace uh, is going to really help me get back into a place where I can write beautiful melody and lyrics. And that's my challenge on this tour, is to be able to write something extraordinary. This is low tone, and obviously we can change the tones of the what actual note is coming out of this by filling it up with water. You know, we can get a really great tone out of uh, that idea without compromising the whole ethos of what this project is, which is to be outside and create music. You know, it doesn't always have to be about recording the artists. It can be about creating sounds within the environment you're in. It's our first sort of mission out towards the sea. So we're gonna be recording the noise of the waves and the way the water rushes up and down the shore, which I'm really excited about because it's one of the most natural forms of the white noise that you get in nature. Okay, let's go. It's definitely the most exotic place I've played my horn. It's quite inspiring, just like open your eyes and look around and just like think of something and let it come out your horn. Um, we are about to record Creatures of the Night. Actually, one night I just I walked through to the kitchen and uh, just sang it. Called up Ben and I was like, uh, yeah, 
got this really cool hook. But the darkness unites, puts our minds in this fight, and a feeling conjures up inside. We're testing, we're testing the microphones, the choir is back there, warming up, the sun's going down, the moon's coming up, it's a perfect time, all the energies have aligned. We are the creatures, the creatures of the night, in our darkest hour, I know we'll be alright. We are the creatures. The creatures of the night In our darkest hour I know we'll be It's a great reverb. Hey, cool reverb, hey? Crazy to think that lives were lived here, and in the blink of an eye, suddenly then lives weren't lived here, and the sand moved in and nature took over. Uh, it's quite remarkable, and it's quite quite special, really. I guess. Quite a sick delay. Do you hear that? Let's see what we can do is we can select the figure of eight pattern here, which allows us to record sound on both sides of the microphone. So it's the perfect kind of mic to actually send. Are you going to lower my microphone down into the canyon? Ben, are you crazy? Yes, he is. No, you're That's not, Ben. There has got to be a better microphone, but not my microphone. <laughs> You gonna be okay? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Thanks, brother. No bit. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Are you impressed now? It's impressive, but it's also stupid. It's impressively stupid. Would you be my bodyguard? Would you take me home? Would you be my bodyguard? I don't want to be alone.
somehow we've actually managed to achieve most of the objectives that we set out for ourselves, not knowing what the time frame considerations would be and what the, the limitations would be. And I'm feeling excited to get back and I'm feeling I'm to get back into the studio and finish this album and take everything that we've managed to capture outside and put it together and make this the best album that we've ever made. I mean, the whole previous album was always just a process of trying to find something that's good enough in my mind to release. You know, I'm always trying to create something that's fresh and sounds nice and with this album. It's really cool, we've got really cool content. It's like having really amazing ingredients, you know, and it's now up to me not to overcook the fillet steak.